Welcome back everyone, Nick and Lex here. Thank you so much for joining me today to this new episode of Music with Nick. Today we got another Jazz Fusion track by Narvik. Thank you so much for the request. I appreciate it for sponsoring the video. And a very few words here by Narvik. It says, last time you reacted to Put It This Way by Coliseum 2. Now uh, I would like you to react to Put It That Way by Coliseum 2. And we got it right here. So Coliseum 2, they're, I mean, amazing. What a, a great jazz fusion. I would also call it, I mean, it's jazz fusion prog, you know. Um, let's see. When was this? This was, I did do this reaction with Alexia. So this one I'm going to do by myself. And uh, it says here, Blue Alexia's Mind. So check out that reaction if you would like to. Um, it's in the channel Coliseum 2. Put it this way. I'm going to put, I'm going to react to put it that way right now. So um, yeah, um, let's get into it. Thank you so much. If you're new to the channel, please do like the video or dislike it, whatever you feel like. Subscribe if you would like to see more, of course, you know, of us. Um, uh, I never say, you know, about the bell, but I mean, if you are interested in these videos and sometimes you're like, oh, they released like five videos and I didn't even know, then do subscribe so you get a notification. And if you click the bell icon, then you can even, then it actually comes up on your phone, you know, like, hey, Nick and Lex released a new video. So if you want that, go there. So this is also from the album called War Dance. And um, let's see the year, 1977. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. Um, put it that way. Let's see. So the other one that we did was from, let me see. I just want to check real quick. What was the album that we did um, for it? Put it this way. Uh, Alexia and I, that was from, I think the, the album before that, let's see. Um, yeah, Electric Savage, same year though, same year. This is from War Dance and, and I've already reacted to some stuff from War Dance album by myself. So yeah. All right. So without further ado, like I said, Coliseum two, if you know what you're going to, uh, what you, what you, I mean, what this is about have fun and if you don't you're going to be surprised if you like jazz if you like prog if you like fusion it's going to remind you of a lot of stuff all right so here we go put it that way coliseum 2 let's go thank you nabik
go. I mean, yeah, it it's amazing. It reminds me a lot of um, Gianluca Ponti, of um, I guess Aldi Miola, you know, um, and they're they've worked together. And it also reminds me of Chikoria, and they have worked together with Aldi Miola. It's that it it's that fusion that. There's a lot of licks. There's a lot of movement. It's very fast. It's uh, like the first four albums by Aldi Miola. They sound just like this. It's just like very melodic, um, very fast. There's a lot of stuff happening. And I, it's Gary Moore here on the guitar, who was obviously way you know more into fast playing than later on in his career. But yeah, I mean, John Heisman on the drums, John Mole on bass, Don Airy um, on the piano, and the mini Mog and uh, Moog, and, um, you know, keyboards and everything, and, and Gary Mio on guitars. But yeah, this is like, even in the comment section, last time we did this, a lot of people were like, oh, it sounds like John Luke Ponti, that what we have here in the back. But it's this is just the music that I listen to um, by my own, you know. Just that this band, I guess, you know, it's just one of those that slips through the cracks. It it reminds me even like early Holdsworth when he was like not with by as a solo artist. I I guess you know stuff like a UK and um, uh, what was that band? Um, Gong, yeah, I think it reminds me a little bit of Gong. Let's see if we click on this band. What does what does it come up like? People also listen to um, Brand X, yeah, oh. UK, yeah. Like I said, Tempest, that's what holds forth. Um, Bill Bruford, I guess, yeah. Um, Starcastle, Curved Air. Um, yeah, these are all like instrumental, you know, they're all instrumental fusion, but with jazz elements, you know, that's what I like about this so much. Um, Happy the Man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these are unfortunately all very unknown. But yeah, UK, I mean, that's one that's like, oof. that was, I think, one of the fir first solos that I heard of Holdsworth. And it was just like, what is this? What's going on here? You know, in the dead of night. And, um, yeah, and then I got into the solo artist, which is a whole different universe. But, yeah, it reminded me definitely of, like, bands like Fran Gambale, you know, uh, that have, like, electric. Um, what is that band by Chick Corea? Um, electric band, I think. And... Um, just like that sort of music fusion, a lot of stuff happening. And uh, it's good. I love it. Thank you so much for this. <laughs> this is... Do -do 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 -do. And it's also the keyboard and the guitar, you know, when they harmonize. It reminds me always of, you know, early video game uh, music. Because they had to come up with something catchy that was that could be looped, you know, pretty pretty regularly. Like throughout the game, every two minutes, they would just repeat the same little tune. And it was usually something very melodic and very memorable. So you could just play the game and if you took certain amount... And these games were like side scrollers, you know? You would kind of like it tell you like walk, keep walking, you remember? In the arcades. And the music would be usually something instrumental, very catchy. And they, these Japanese games, uh, when they came out, they were mostly done by Japanese programmers. And the composers were, I'm sure they were in, inspired by all this stuff. Yes, and Genesis and Colosseum or Aldi Miola or Czech Korea, because it was very catchy stuff. And depending on the game, of course, you know, if it was something in, uh, you know, the Dark Ages, then they would take classical music. If it was something, you know... And it just was in the 90s, you know, like, you know, Double Dragon. I've no, I don't know if you've ever heard of that, but it's a fighting game. And the music was just very catchy and very like, and it was on a loop. So 
they used ideas from these bands, you know. <laughs> so it's very cool. So it's all it's funny because I uh, um I've talked about this with like Greybeard and um we both, you know, love uh retro like video games and and uh, but when we listen to some certain bands like Kansas or stuff like that, it's even um even his kids would come up to him and it's like, Dad, what are you listening to? It sounds like video game music. And yeah, it's because that's what it is, you know. Um, the video game music is influenced in this kind of stuff. Again, thank you so much, Narek. This was wonderful. As always, I love Jazz Fusion. I love Prague. And even though it's a shorter one, it was very enjoyable. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Please let me know what you think, everyone. Um, if you like the video, like I said, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment. Maybe you know a, a, a different band that you know more on the obscure side um, that we could react to in, in the future. But again, thank you so much, and I'll see you all in the next one.